Hey guys, in this one, I've got the best Android video editing apps for this year. And I've got some different apps on the list. Some are really good for some extra features and effects. Some are just really solid apps that are gonna be good for kind of more professional type of use. So in this one, I'm just gonna go through the apps, through some of the main features, the benefits of them, and then just some comparisons overall to really find what would be the best app for you and your use case. Also be sure to check out the description for more videos about editing apps. Also a bit more information about these apps and any relevant links, I'll put all of that info in the description. We're gonna get onto the first one though, which is Funny Mate. Funny Mate, I guess because a mix between fun and animate or animation. And that is really the main focus of this app. So I would say this is aimed towards more of a younger crowd, people that do want to edit videos, but really want to add things onto videos to make them pretty cool for social media. So if you're using TikTok, I guess this one was made specifically for TikTok because you have so many effects, lighting effects, different cuts and transitions that you can put over the top of your videos. It is a powerful editor though. You can very easily cut and edit video. You can choose from landscape, portrait, or square. So that's kind of the only three aspect ratios you can choose from when you're uploading a video. Now, when you've chosen that aspect ratio, you can go in and zoom in and out of the video. So make sure you don't get any black bars and you can change all of that. That's really good. But there are a few other apps that give you virtually endless aspect ratios to choose from. So this only gives you those three options. What I really like about the app is how you add layers. It's kind of a mix between uh, a normal video editing timeline and like a Photoshop workspace. You actually have layers of videos that you can put on top of each other. And so you can edit each individual layer with different effects. This one does put a watermark on your video, super annoying. You can upgrade to the pro version though for extra effects and the removal of that watermark. It's $7 for a month. $50 for a year. You do get a seven day free trial though. So you could use it for a few days, see if you like it without the watermark or make a few edits. Make sure that you're not going into the free trial and then it's just gonna auto renew though. So be careful that you know what you're doing before you're playing around with that. Adobe Premiere Rush is next on the list. I would say the most professional option in this list. If you are in any way looking to up your game, maybe become a little bit more professional, or you think you're starting now, but you wanna maybe take this a bit further, then Premiere Rush is kind of the best option because Premiere Rush is part of the Adobe suite of software. So you can sign up for an Adobe Creative Cloud account, pay a little bit each month and pretty much get access to the best tools. You know, you've got Photoshop in there, Premiere, Premiere Rush, you have all of the other options as well. But there are some drawbacks with Premiere Rush for a lot of people. The first is that it is free for a little while, but then basically you do have to start paying for it, which is fair enough because it is a professional tool. You also get cross-platform usage on this one as well. The downsides though is that this app is actually not supported by every Android device. So it's supported on iPad, iPhone, and Mac OS devices. I'll put a list on the screen of all the supported Android devices right now. And actually my device that I have an Oppo Find X2 Pro isn't supported, so I can't use this app. So with Adobe Premiere Rush, it only works on some Android devices. It's not really free to be honest. Adobe Creative Cloud is the most professional solution for most people though, and it varies on the cost, but it starts at $10 a month for Rush, and then you can get absolutely everything, including Photoshop and all the other things for $50 a month. If you wanna take this more professional, then that is one of the best options. InShot is next on the list. No watermark for me when I've used it. So I've tried this a few times with exporting videos and there's been no watermarks on there, even though it's free. So definitely points for that one. It's not got the same amount of effects as Funny Mate, for example, if you wanna go for that TikTok style stuff, but it has some really solid features that Funny Mate doesn't have. You can record a voiceover in this one. You can also crop to way more aspect ratios. So change to way more different sizes. Make sure you can zoom in and make sure there's no black bars anywhere. You can use freeze frame th with this one as well, which is like an automatic feature that does it for you. There's some speed effects as well, so you can speed up video, slow down video. So there's a lot of solid features in this one. I also like the amount of transitions and effects that you can do. I did notice that the Android version 
seems to not have as many features as the iPhone version of the same app. Not really sure why, but the Android version does seem to be a little bit more bare bones than the iPhone version. The basic editor though is very powerful, bug free, so you can use this for a while, it's not gonna slow you down. The free version is good enough for most. The pro version starts at $3 a month, then goes up to $10 for a year, or you can just pay $30, you get an all-time subscription to the InShot app. KineMaster is next on the list, and I won't spend too much time on this because I feel like it's a staple of many Android video editing lists. There are some good pro features in this one. You get good speed effects, good filters, good color adjustments, even voice EQ effects as well. You can very easily record video and audio, including voiceover in the app with some different features, which I think is very functional as well. There are a few downsides to this app though that I noticed. First is the ads, there's a lot of ads and they're quite intrusive. Second is the surprisingly long-winded way that you go about cutting your video. You need to press cut, then you go into a list of options, and then I just prefer a simple cut. There's no quick button for that that other apps have, just to press the cut and you make a split straight away. There may be some ways you can play around with the settings, I couldn't find those. It just does feel a little bit long-winded compared to the others. A benefit though is that you can use this in landscape mode, which does give you kind of more space than the other ones. The paid up version will give you extra effects and the removal of that watermark, $4 for a month or $20 per year. And then you get all the pro features and you can actually export videos without their logo. Vilo is next on the list. I feel like Vilo is a more intuitive editor that a lot of people are gonna like versus KineMaster. The timeline is also a bit easier to understand. It has some really powerful editing tools. You also get Ken Burns in here, which is a really good feature where you can basically move around the display of the screen. So it's quite a good feature and I haven't seen it in any of the others. So kudos to Villo for having that one. It can look a bit scary at first because there's a lot going on when you actually uh, select and view the playhead, but actually all of these options make editing a lot faster. You don't have to dig around in menus. You don't have to press one menu, go into something else to do something. Everything is there with one touch, which once you get to know the editor means that you can actually just edit faster. I really like the way that each and every effect that you can add also has its own part of the timeline. So you can see where all of your effects are, you can see where you've added them, where you don't have them, and then you can click on each of them individually and change them individually, which I think is a really great feature. So again, it may look complicated to start, but actually, once you get to know the app, it's gonna be really fast and really simple to change everything. The free version is watermark free, or it was for me when I was using it anyway. There is a premium version though. You can get some extra effects and features. You can get extra manual controls and add in extra videos as part of the premium version. Vilo doesn't have any monthly subscriptions. I think you just pay about 10 or $15 one-time payment, and then you get uh, complete access to the app forever. Finishing off though is CapCut, and this definitely deserves to be on the list. It's an amazing editor. There's actually no premium versions of this app. It is an open source app, so anyone can go and get the code and make changes to it. CapCut though is made by the same company as TikTok, ByteDance, and so I guess they, they made this app as kind of a lost leader or as kind of a service to people on TikTok so that TikTokers had somewhere that they could go and edit their videos to put on TikTok. But anyway, this app is really, really powerful. As I said, no premium versions, but most of the features of the other apps. There is absolutely no watermark whatsoever on this app. They do have this kind of end screen that has the logo on, but you can very easily take that off. You can change formats, canvas sizes really, really easily, zoom in and out of the image. There's also some really nice options that none of the other apps have. You get this speed option, which can change the speed of the video in the kind of shape of a graph. So it will go fast and slow and fast. You can choose lots of different effects when it comes to that. And it has some of the largest and most varied selections of transitions too. I'd probably say more than even Final Cut Pro and that costs like a few hundred bucks. There's so many transitions, different effects that you can put on your videos. I just really think this is a very competitive app. So maybe check this one out first and see if it works for you. Maybe the others if you want some specific tools, but this one has so many effects and transitions. Maybe it doesn't have all of the fun add-ons that FunnyMate has, but in terms of free apps that are watermark free, CapCut is, for me, a very, very good choice overall. 
That is it for my Android video editors though. I will put more information, links to the apps and other videos in the description below. So go and check those out if you want. Also, any that didn't make the list that you think should have, just put those in the comments. That is it for this one though. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you in the next one.